Hello, I'm Wolf Blitzer reporting from Washington. A surprising apology today from Ted Nugent for calling President Obama a subhuman mongrel. Was he sincere? You can judge for yourself. Here's what he told conservative radio talk show host Ben Ferguson just a short time ago. Subhuman mongrel um, is a derogatory term. Most people agree with that. Did you cross the line by calling the President of the United States of America that? And if you saw Barack Obama, would you apologize to him for saying that about him? Yes, I would. I did cross the line. I do apologize, not necessarily to the President, but on behalf of much better men than myself, like uh, the best governor in America, Governor Rick Perry, the best attorney general in America. God, just think if America had an attorney general as great as Greg Abbott, like we do here in Texas. So on behalf of those professional politicians and those who put their heart and soul into representing we the people so accurately, like the gentleman I just mentioned, I apologize for using the street fighter terminology of subhuman mongrel instead of just using more understandable language such as uh, violator of his oath to uh, uh, the Constitution, uh, the, the, the liar that he is. The president lied when he said we can keep our, uh, our, our doctors and we can remain, retain our health care, period. And that he, his Department of Defense and Department of Justice called the Allah Akbar terrorism at Fort Hood workplace violence. Those, those are the real offensive occurrences in America. So, yes, Ben, I apologize for using the term subhuman mongrel, and I will try to elevate my vernacular to the level of those great men that I'm learning from in the world of politics. Are you apologizing to the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, for calling him a subhuman mongrel? Yes. If he hears this, and there's a good chance it's going to be played later today, and he's watching or listening, what would you say to him directly? Good Lord, there's an agenda for you. And Ben Ferguson is joining us now. Uh, ben, thanks very much. Uh, so he apologizes. Sure qualifies it a, a bit. What was your take on that apology? Well, I, I think he apologized more because of the mess that has taken and it's hurt people that he admires and respects and Greg Abbott. Uh, I asked him later, as you heard me press him again, do you apologize to the president outside of that? And he said yes. And, and, and from his tone, I've been around Ted several different times. I think he really does feel bad for the words he used. He feels bad for what it's done to the people he surrounds himself with. Uh, and that's the reason why he apologized. That's not something that is usually something he does. If, if anyone presses him, he usually ups the ante. So putting it in the context of Ted Nugent, uh, I think I was a little surprised by him saying, yes, I apologize to the president. Because he's been coming under an enormous amount of criticism uh, and, and people really don't care that much what he says but the way he's embarrassed the, the the attorney general of Texas who wants to be the next governor Rick Perry was with me yesterday here in the Situation Room let me play a few clips sure. of what they said and what uh, Senator McCain has said as well it's a free country but that kind of language really doesn't have any place in our political dialogue. It harms the Republican Party. I'm sure that it harmed that candidate there. And uh, it should be obviously re repudiated. I got a problem calling the president um, a mongrel. Subhuman mongrel. Sub yeah, I, I do have a problem with that. That is an inappropriate thing to say. Those sentiments there, of course, I don't agree with them. You've never heard me say such a thing, and nor would I. And Senator Rand Paul uh, last night tweeted, he sure. said, uh, Ted Nugent's derogatory description of President Obama is offensive and has no place in politics. He should apologize. So he's come under enormous pressure from people who may at earlier times have been willing to stand with him, invited him out there on the campaign trail, but they didn't want to have anything to do with him after he used those derogatory, vile terms uh, of the President of the United States. Well, and I asked him about that, and Ted, I think if he could go back 40 days ago or 43 days now ago, as he put it, he wouldn't have used those words. He said, I'm going to learn from the people around me in politics that I admire. Uh, I should not have used those words, and they were the wrong choice to refer to the President of the United States of America. And for Ted Nugent, uh, for him to say it that way, I, I personally was a little bit surprised that he apologized as he did, because that's not his style. 
and and I think he realizes the damage that was done. I also think he realizes that what an opportunity this gave Wendy Davis to raise money uh, against Greg Abbott, who he wants to be uh, the next guy in charge in Texas, and he wanted to help. And I think that's where he really felt bad is he didn't want to help out the Democrat. He didn't want to help out Wendy Davis. And, and that was something he made very clear as well on the show. Did he apologize to CNN for calling us a Nazi propaganda machine along the lines of Joseph Goebbels? <laughs> he did not apologize for that. He did, however, give a nice accolades to Aaron Burnett and said that uh, when he had to cancel on her show the other night, uh, as he put it, he said it was because of medical, medical issues. He said she's a classy journalist uh, and he likes going on her show. So he did clarify why he had to cancel the other night on her show. All right, Ben Ferguson, uh, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Ben Ferguson is the thanks, host Wolf. of the Ben Ferguson Show, and he's the one who got the, uh, the apology from Ted Nugent. Thanks, uh, Ben. Thanks very much.